Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yaz and today I want to share with you a collective haul. These are items that I've purchased pretty much in the first couple of months of the year and I just want to share with you um, what I've got and my thoughts on most of these items. Some of them I haven't used yet. Um, some of them I've been using pretty frequently. So I've formed an opinion on some of these things and I'll share that with you. And I do have quite a bit of stuff so let's just get started. So I think I want to start sort of with like skincare-ish type stuff. So the first thing um, is actually something that I've been using and it's in this box right here. These are the NADS Bikini and Underarm Wax Strips for sensitive skin. I'm assuming that they have another package for non-sensitive skin. This was the only one that I saw and I figured, let me give it a try. I was using the ones from, gosh, was it Sally Henson, the name of the brand? Um, and I liked them and I just wanted to try something else, something different. Um, I love using wax strips for doing my underarms. Um, most of the other places on my body I will shave, though I've tried waxing strips on my legs. I just don't like the fact that I kind of have to let them grow to a certain point in order to use the waxing strips. I just feel like my legs are really obvious, like a really obvious place to sort of let the hair grow for a certain amount of time in order to have enough hair to let a product like this sort of grab the hair. So um, I pretty much tend to keep it to my underarms. Um, I feel like it's definitely helped. I haven't shaved my underarms probably in at least, I'm going to say it's probably been a year by now. It might have even been longer. And I've noticed that they're not as dark as they used to be. So that's really great. Um, even though I'm pulling at the skin and I'm pulling the hair from the skin, I don't feel that it's as irritating as shaving is. Especially underneath my arm, especially in my armpits, I, I used to feel so irritated when I shaved there and I used to... I just, I, I definitely didn't enjoy it. Not that this is something that I enjoy doing, but it's just a more pleasant experience for me. And I don't mind the little itty bitty bit of pain I might feel initially. Like, I don't even flinch really anymore when I do it. So, it's really not that painful. I would suggest you give it a try. Um, especially if you're someone, if you're someone who's noticed, like, darkening on the underarms. Definitely give it a try, because I feel like it's definitely helped for that. I also bought these. These are, and I think this I purchased at Ulta. Most of the stuff from today I purchased at Ulta and Sephora. Um, there might be some online stuff, some random drugstore stuff, but mostly from there. I'll try to remember to tell you where I purchased it. These I also got at Ulta. These are the Sweet Ease Easy Peasy Wax It Sweetie. Um, and this is their bikini waxing kit. I haven't tried these just yet, but um, you know, I saw them and I, I don't know, I was just intrigued by the packaging probably because it's nice and bright and yellow. Um, so I wanted to give these a try, but so far I have been using these and these come with two different sizes. So these more wider ones and these ones that are a little bit more narrow. I have a couple of things here for hair and I have a shampoo conditioner that I have been loving. I love the OGX brand of shampoos and conditioners if you've been following my channel for any length of time really. Um, these, I exclusively used to use the OGX brand of shampoos and conditioners uh, probably up until about, I would say maybe six months ago, I started using the Shea Moisture ones as well, and I like both lines, so I kind of go back and forth between them. But I saw, I saw these recently at Ulta, and I had to pick them up. These are the Anti-Hair Fallout Niacin 3 and Caffeine Shampoo and Conditioners, and I love these. My husband hates them, and I'm going to tell you why. I think, I guess the caffeine in it really kind of gives you like a tingling sensation on your scalp, which I love. I feel like it's invigorating. I feel like it's really sort of cleaning my scalp and like rejuvenating it. My husband hates that. He doesn't like that feeling. He felt like it was burning. I'm like, it's not burning. It's just a sensation. Like if it was burning, it'd be hurting. It doesn't hurt. It just gives you like a tingling sensation. I really like it. I don't know. I love it. So I definitely want to go back and pick up another um, set of these because I absolutely loved it. Definitely give these a try. I feel like no other shampoo that I use really gives me that feeling. And I'm sure, like, I don't feel like it strips my hair or, like, strips the oils from my scalp or anything like that. It just, I like the way it feels. It feels really, really good to me. I don't know. I just like it. So I definitely recommend these. Check them out. And I saw this when I was checking out at, at Ulta. You know how they have the little, like, uh section with like the samples or like random items really half of the stuff is just random it's not even samples it's just random stuff i saw this and i was like one i'm gonna give it a try i haven't tried it yet i only purchased one but this is what's the name of the brand i guess the brand is hair therapy it's a 15 minute treatment hair mask and it actually according to what if i'm reading this right um yeah it's a deep conditioning steam hair wrap so I think it comes in like a shower cap kind of a thing and you put it on 
Probably in the shower while you're showering with the hot steam, it sort of um, activates and you wear it for 15 minutes and then you wash it off. I'm dying to try it. I just haven't tried it yet because I feel like it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an additional 15 minutes I'm going to be in the shower. So I, I feel like I need to, like, make time for something like that. So I haven't used it yet, but I'm dying to try this. So if you've used this before or something similar to this, let me know down below how it's worked out for you. Um, I kind of love the idea of this, to be honest with you, because I have curly, coarse hair and anything that I can do to really deep condition my hair at home is a plus for me. Um, my hair just really needs it probably more often than someone who doesn't have like naturally like coarse or like ethnic hair you know so I like stuff like this I love the Batiste dry shampoo and I picked up another one at Ulta because I'm running low on the one that I have now um, but I've never tried this one this one's in the floral this was in the bright and lively floral essences and it smells pretty good like I sprayed it at so <sighs> And it smells pretty good. I, I sprayed it when I was at Ulta and I kind of liked it. With the Batiste brand, I tend to go for like the brunette or medium brown tinted um, dry shampoo just because I feel like it, it just is better for my hair. Like it looks more natural. I don't have to worry about the white residue or anything like that. Um, so I, I, I'm going to try this one. I feel like I'm going to love it because I, I tend to use like um, hair... What are those things called? It's not hair perfume. It's hair... It's like perfume specifically for your hair because it's not supposed to have any alcohol in it so it doesn't dry out your hair. I use that all the time because I feel like, especially when I use heat, um, hot tools, my hair just kind of smells. It doesn't smell burnt, it just kind of smells. I don't know, I don't like, I hate that smell. I catch a whiff of it and I, I swear I want to throw up. So, um, you know, this will help rejuvenate my hair and make it less oily and give it a nice little scent. And this one I picked up, this is from Not Your Mother's, it is their Double Take Dry Finish Texture Spray. And I picked this one up because I think I have the one, oh what's the brand, I think it's, is it Garnier? Or Tresemme? No, not Tresemme. Fructis? Garnier Fructis? Yeah, I think it's Garnier. They have like a texturizing spray from the drugstore, so I liked it. And I was running low, and I didn't see that one at Ulta, but then I saw this one, and I was like, let me give this a try. Um, maybe I'll like it. So it's a two-in-one tassel texture, shape, and volume with medium hold. I um, I just saw, I saw a lot of these, like, texture sprays, and a lot of them seem like hairsprays, like they have hold. And that's the only thing I don't want. I like to get the texture without so much to hold. I'm not huge on hairspray. Um, I just feel like once I put hairspray in my hair, I can't, I have to wash my hair after. Like, I go usually about a week or so without washing my hair it's just better for my hair my oils make it to my ends it's just it's just better for my hair um in the summer or you know when i'm working out obviously i have to do it more often because i'm just sweating and that's not cute but if i'm not putting any product in my hair i can let my hair go for a month a week a month you right i can let my hair go for a week without washing it which is totally healthy for my hair and i'm not putting gunk in it so it's not building up anything except it's natural oils which is really really good because my ends get really really dry because my hair just doesn't allow it to get to, whatever it's really good I'm gonna try this one out. I haven't tried it yet so I can't tell you I'm still using the last little bit that I have left on my other bottle um, but as soon as that's done I'm gonna be using this baby I'm excited to try it out because I really like the other one so I hope it works really well let's do skincare sure why not the first thing I got here is a toner I actually have two toners this is my nighttime toner I purchased the Derma Doctor litmus test Ugh. Replenishing toner with glycolic acid and lactic acid. And it comes in this container which has a pump similar to like the Zoya nail polish remover pump. Is it Zoya? Yeah, I think it's Zoya that has the pump. Um, and I think this is the old packaging. I think they have since reformulated it. Because I don't find this specific one anymore. But I find another one that has glycolic in it. And I think it also has lactic acid. So I think they sort of maybe reformulated it and repackaged it. I like this for at night. Um, I have used it a couple of times both day and night and I don't think it's too harsh for me to be able to use both day and night even though we're in the middle of winter. My skin is combination oily, much more oily in the summer, a little bit more combination, a little bit drier in the winter. Um, and even though we're in the winter and my skin is technically drier at its driest really, um, this isn't too harsh and I really really like it. Um, I've been using it I've been using it consistently now probably for the last month or two. I don't think I started using it right in January. I probably started more like in February. Um, but I really like it. And I only do like two pumps really. And I use it all over my face. So I've been using this one at night for the majority of the time. 
And then during the day, I've been using this one from Pixie. They're glow tonic. I love this. I love the way it smells. I love the way it feels on my face. I just love everything about the experience of using this tonic. It's just, it's really, really good. It has 5% glycolic. It's a little bit more gentle. I don't know if it's, you know, if the other one has the same amount of glycolic. I really don't know how much glycolic. If it has 5 or 10%, I really have no idea. I should probably look into it. Um, but I just, I really, really like this. I had the smaller size, which you can get at Target. And... You know, I had seen that they had a bigger size, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And it's only because I guess you can buy it through Pixie. Or you can buy it on Amazon, but it's a little bit more expensive. So I wouldn't buy it on Amazon. I would buy it through Pixie. Um, I wasn't happy with my first experience purchasing through Pixie. The shipping took forever. They, you know, the day that I ordered it, they had processed it and charged my credit card. But it took them two weeks. They said there was some sort of glitch in their system. I have no idea. Some sort of breakdown in their system, really. Um... And so I, it didn't even ship for two weeks. So I was kind of pissed. Because it's like, you really shouldn't charge me until it ships. Like, you can't charge me for something that hasn't even shipped to me. So I was pissed. So I gave them hell. But eventually they got it to me. Whatever. And I love it. I just hope that the next time when I'm running low and I go back to purchase it again, I'm pretty sure I will, that I have a much better experience. But this is an amazing product. I used to use this before when I purchased the smaller size at Target. I was only using this day and night and I loved it. So now I'm using this one during the day, the other one at night. It just feels like a really good combination and my skin really kind of likes it. So I'm going to continue using it and I'm hoping that around that time of the month, right before, well, or right before that time of the month when I tend to break out, that maybe I won't break out as bad or they'll heal a little bit faster, a little bit faster because of these products. We'll see. Um, but I love both of them. So by me, they opened up a elf store. And I was really excited because they have one in the city and I've been to that one. Um, but it's just not convenient. It's all the way downtown. It's just in an area that I don't necessarily always get to. So it's not convenient. But I went there once and I loved going there and being able to see everything. So recently they opened one by me. The one by me now is only uh, 5 or 10 minutes away. I guess like 10 minutes away. So it's really super close. Um, there's actually Sephora right next door. So I decided to go and check them out. And I purchased their e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. I am pretty much like almost all out of this thing. Like there is just a little bit right in this area right here. Um, I go in hardcore with this. I go in as if it was like a eye mask. Kind of like the, um, you know, the uh, Glam Glow like eye mask. Like little pods that come for like the under eyes. I kind of go in like that. Like I use that as an eye mask. I let it soak in. This, I let it sit. I use it as a mask because it's really thin. It's not really heavy. Um, so I like to use a lot of it to use it as a mask to sort of let it sit there. But because it's really a light formula, I feel like it just really sinks into my under eyes. And my under eyes are really, really dry. I know some people can't use really thick formulas or a heavy amount of eye cream because they get like those little white, I think they're called milia, milia, something like that. They're like little white, I don't know if they're technically bumps or just like round spots or something like in that area when they use something that's too heavy or thick. Um, I've never, I don't want to say never, but I've never, well, I haven't gotten those. Um, and my under eyes are always really, really dry regardless of how much I put under there. So I feel like nothing's really thick enough for me. So I tend to always go in with a really thick amount of eye cream. And then right before I put on my makeup or right before I go to bed, I might massage whatever's left. If there's anything left that hasn't really so, um, sunken in yet. And it seems to work for me. Um... I like it. I don't know if I'll go back and repurchase it just because I feel like a lot of the stuff that I buy from like, let's be honest, more expensive brands have some better qualities or a little bit more and have better like more anti-aging properties to them. And those are the kind of things that I need to use now. I'm at an age now where I really need to use anti-aging products if for nowhere else but for underneath my eyes because th that area is really starting to show my age. So I really need to um, take care of that. And I like this. I like to use this mainly during the day. At night, I like to go in with something that's a little bit more uh, for anti-aging purposes. But this actually is pretty good. And I don't, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I'm sure it was less than $10. This is a pretty big container. It's 0.49 ounces. And it's, it's a nice container. I was really surprised at the quality of the containers from them. Um, so yeah, give it a try. Especially, you know, if you don't have like a major concern, I feel like this is a good eye cream to use. Um, if you have major creasing or dark circles or anything like that, I don't think this is the under eye cream for you. But if your problem is dry under eyes, 
this is probably a really good product that you can use and you don't need to spend a whole lot of money using something else that probably really isn't helping you with what you need. So I would definitely give this a try. Another skincare product. I haven't tried this one yet. I need to try this. This I got from Sephora. It was only a couple of bucks. I wanted, It was definitely less than 10 bucks. I think it was less than 10 bucks. Or maybe it was 10 bucks. I don't remember. This is from Basha. It is their Deep Pore Cleansing Pair. And it came literally just like this in a little Ziploc. Um, but you get this... I think this is like a cognac... Yeah, cognac cleansing cloth. So I know they have like the sponge. And I've used... Not the Basha one, but I've used one from another brand. Um, and I just wasn't a huge fan of it. But this one is... I don't want to open it because it's like saran wrapped <laughs> clothes. And I want to save it for when I actually use it. But it's... I think it's folded in half. No, it's actually folded in quarters. So it's four times the size of this. And you wet it and it has like this weird texture on there. It's supposed to help clean... It's supposed to help, you know, clean your face without being abrasive, I guess. And this is their Detoxifying Black Cleanser. I heard some really good things about this. And I wanted to give it a try. So I saw the pair and I was like, oh, I'm going to try that out and see if I like it. So I haven't tried it yet. So I don't have an opinion on it yet. But I'm really excited to use this. Once I'm done with what I'm currently using, which is this, I'll be using that. I, a few months ago, went with my mom to get a facial done at our, um, at the Dermalogica Academy here in the city. And it was a great experience. And I fell in love with their products. I think their products are really good. They really target what they mean to target. And so I've, I've been using a couple of their products. Um, probably my favorite thing from them is their special cleansing gel. This reminds me of the Purity Cleanser, but I think it's even more gentle. But it gets everything off. I will go in with this and put it all over, you know, rub my eyes. I will rub my eyes to get all my eye makeup off. Not rubbing hard or anything. I'm not being harsh with myself at all. Um, and I'll open my eyes to like reach for my Clarisonic or reach for this next product that I'm going to tell you about. And it doesn't get into my eyes. Even I have, I have water like running into... If it gets into my eyes, then it doesn't sting because I don't feel anything in my eyes. It's so gentle, but it does what it's supposed to. Like, my skin is completely clean after I've used this. This is awesome. And I've been using that twice a day in the morning and at night. And at night, I tend to use my Clarisonic. But in the morning, I tend to use their daily micro exfoliant. And these two things the lady who did my facial used on me, and she said I should really be using products like these. She said this would be great I do have some acne scars I do get my breakouts every single month and she said this would be really good to help minimize the scarring and sort of um, rejuvenate my skin and create new skin so I like this it comes in a, it's a powder form and I put it in my hands I put a little bit of water on it or whatever cleanser is left on my hands from what I've been washing and I go over it with the cleanser still on my face I don't take the cleanser off before going in with this and I like it it's ten, it seems to be working for my skin I really like this um, powdered uh, micro exfoliant. I always thought that it was like, you know, an extra like pain in the ass kind of a step to use a product like this because it's not just like an exfoliant that you get like in a gel or in a tube and you just exfoliate your face. Like you have to sort of, it's just a powder, you know, and you kind of have to work it a little bit. But I like it and it works itself into the cleanser and I just gently exfoliate until I don't feel the beads anymore. They sort of like, they sort of like settle away or something. I don't even know how to explain it. But it's really, really good. Definitely check them out. I bought these as a little set. Um, I bought these at Dermalogica when I was there. But then recently I was at Ulta and I saw this little set. And this was for 18 bucks. This is a limited edition. So I don't know if they even have it anymore. It's their skin brightening set. It is their everyday essentials. And it comes with the little container of the micro exfoliant. The same one that I have there. And the active moist um, daily moisturizer. When I was there, the lady said that's what I should be using. Even in winter, I shouldn't be using anything that's too heavy. She thought that it was breaking me out even more or making my breakouts worse and clogging my pores. So she said this moisturizer is much better for oily and combination oily skin. So I was really excited to see it in a set with pretty much my favorite or one of my favorite products that I've been using lately on my skin. So I'm excited to try out the, um, the moisturizer. When, I'm excited to try the moisturizer once I'm done with what I'm currently using. Uh, oh, I have this also. This I've only used once or twice, and since I'm using toners with glycolic in it, I'm a little nervous to use this as well. This is from Re Reviva or Reviva Labs. I'm not sure. I got this at Ulta, and it's their 10% glycolic acid 
cream. It is for exfoliation and cell renewal for mature skin. So like I said, I only used this a couple of times when I first got it. And then when I started using the toners, I was a little nervous about using too much glycolic. I have to kind of do my research and see kind of the effects of using a lot of glycolic if there is any or if it doesn't matter. What I really like about this brand is that it actually has an expiration date. So I feel like the stuff isn't sitting there. It's kind of sort of fresh. I just like the idea of something that's made, almost like kind of made to order. Kind of like at Lush or something. Something that expires. I feel like products that sort of sit there and don't have an expiration date kind of make me nervous. I'm like, what do you mean it never expires? Like that sounds crazy. Um, especially with something that has like a specific like... Um, active ingredient in it like glycolic like or anything like that like I feel like it should have an expiration date and I want to know when that is because if I'm using it for a certain amount of time and things start to happen to my skin I might not realize oh maybe it's because of that because I've had it for so long I'm gonna be I'm gonna freak out thinking why is my skin breaking out why is this happening I would love for everything to sort of have an expiration date and I know a lot of things do but a lot of things also don't so anyway whatever I, I tried it a couple of times I've given it a break I probably will go back to this maybe over the summer or as we get into the warmer months i may want to go in with this only probably at night and maybe with a different toner than my glycolic one because i i feel like i shouldn't double up but i gotta look into it and maybe i'll let you know in a future video another toner that i have um i bought this from this is from bliss i think i purchased this at sephora they actually had it on sale i remember the time i bought it i think they repackaged their stuff because a lot of this bliss stuff was on sale this is their Steep Clean Mattifying Toner Pads. It's soaked in a solution of oil-busting salicylic acid and AHAs. Smart sponge fears control excess sebum and shine as multi-fruit exfoliators minimize pores. And this sounded like exactly something that I need. I feel like I need something to help control the shine. Especially during the day when I'm, when I'm wearing makeup. I really like these. Um, they're actually pretty big. I don't know if you could tell. Oops, there you go. So they're actually pretty big pants and really well saturated. That the last couple of times that I've used them, I've cut them in half. So I get twice as many. This brings, I think, 50. Yeah, it brings 50 pads. So you could technically have you can technically have a hundred uses out of this. At least I can for my face. Like I feel like it's one was too much, like I wasn't using all of the solution on it. And if I'm paying this much for a product, I want to be able to use it all, right? So, um, I cut them in half and I use this only during the day. Now, since I've gotten my glow tonic, I haven't used this in a while, but I like to use this like if I'm going to wear my makeup for like a long, a long period, longer period of time. So I feel like it helps mattify me a little bit. I will get oily eventually. It just is what it is. I have to accept it. There's nothing out there that's like a miracle oil control option for me. I, I haven't found anything. I've tried a lot of things. Nothing really seems to work. But I can um, use certain things that will help keep me mattified for a longer period of time. And so I like using this during the day. I don't use it at night. I've never used it at night. I've only used this for like during the day. This isn't skincare but this is for my teeth. I actually bought one for my husband and I bought a set for my mom as well. And I can't wait to try this. This is the Glow 3 Day Teeth Whitening Treatment. I purchased this at Sephora at the Isle of Doom at the end when you're checking out when they have all the like the little trinkets and stuff that you could pick up I always end up picking up at least one thing from there like at least one thing from there um, I think these were pretty expensive they were like $25 so I hope that this works um, I'm probably gonna wait to use this for um, a wedding that I'm gonna be in that's coming up next month so I'm probably gonna wait until then to give this a try but I'm super excited to give it a try and I really hope that it works also from elf I bought two of their lip exfoliators this one's in Mint Maniac, and this one is in Cherry Tart. I love these. I tend to use these only in the morning, you know, to kind of exfoliate my lips a little bit. So when I go in with my lipstick, they're nice and smooth. And, you know, because I use my lip balm at night and throughout the day, I feel like my lips this winter haven't been super dry. Granted, I have to make sure that I have something on them at all times because the minute I don't have anything on, they do start to feel a little dry on me. But usually my lips crack and chap and they peel. And this winter, thank goodness, it hasn't happened. It hurts. Like, especially in the corners, like, it just hurts. And sometimes, like, if you drink orange juice or something that's a little bit acidic, it hurts. It's just it's too much. Something that's maybe a little too salty, it gets in. It hurts. So I'm, so I'm super excited about these. I will probably always have one of these around. Um, I haven't tried the original one that just looks like it's like a chocolatey or like a brown sugar kind of exfoliant. These actually, you know, match the colors of their, their names. This one's green and the other one is red or pink really. 
this was the first one that I bought and I loved it. Um, I like these. I think they're only like a couple of bucks, like three bucks maybe from Elf. You should definitely pick one of these up. This is actually something, this was a freebie that I got from Nordstrom when I made an online order to do them. And this is the Wish Shave Cream. And I think I've tried this once before and when I saw this as a sample, I had to have it. Number one, it's a huge sample. Like this isn't like those typical samples you get at Sephora or even Nordstrom where it's like something like a little foil packet. Like this is a legit sample. And it's just a shaving cream. It's kind of like a lotion. You put it on like a lotion and you shave and it feels so, so good. I remember really liking the other sample that I had. Um, I've just never purchased it because I think it's a little bit pricey. I think I've seen, do they sell this at Ulta? I've seen it somewhere and I was like, mm, I ain't spending that kind of money on a shaving cream. Because what I use now kind of works. I use my husband's shaving cream and I love it. So there's no need for me to have something like this. But if you have maybe really dry skin, nothing else really works for you. I imagine like people who have like eczema, psoriasis, I think that's what it is. Like that really dry skin condi condition. Uh, like if you have it on your legs, on the areas where you shave, like maybe something like this would be really good for you. Obviously, I'm no expert. I don't suffer from that, so I wouldn't really know. But I feel like, in my mind, it makes sense that something like this would be really, really good for you. Um, if you're someone who wants to shave their underarms, this is probably amazing. Because I feel like underarms are, are the worst place to shave, or even your bikini area. Like, my legs don't really get irritated. But my underarms and my bikini area, if I shave in those places, I'm going to get some sort of irritation. I feel like this is a really good product for like, those type of places where you get irritated no matter what you do. I'm excited. Oh, I have this. I haven't tried this yet. I got this from, I think from Sephora. Yeah, the Isle of Doom, actually. Um, this is the Tasha Polished Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. Yeah, powder. Um, I heard a lot of people talk about this. This and the spray, the facial mist, the glowy mist. I know Jaclyn Hill talks about it all the time. A bunch of people have tried it. I, as much as I, I want to buy it, because everybody says, oh, it looks so young and dewy and marvelous and i'm like I, I want that too but i'm oily so i don't need that like that looks like it's too much like when you see people put it on like they are glowing i don't need all that i got that glow give me five minutes i'll get there um but this especially because i've been using the one from dermalogica this i was super excited for i haven't tried it yet so i can't really tell you but you know i know it's really expensive and it's a pretty good amount in there i think this is like 20 dollars or 25 dollars something Something like that. Most things in, in there are kind of like around that price range. Um, so it's expensive for like the little bit that you get. But this is an expensive brand. A lot of people really like it. So I'm hoping I'm going to love it. Well, maybe not. Because then it's going to be really expensive to buy all the time. But I'm excited to try it. And I think I'm going to like it. We'll see. This I got as a 100 point perk. I think the last time I was at Sephora. And this is the Origins High Potency Nitamins Nighttime Moisturizer. I've been dying to try this out. And when I saw that it was a 100 point perk, I was like, why not? I, I don't tend to use my points on just random stuff at Sephora. When I see something that I really, really want, I'm like, yep, give me two of those. Um, so I tried it. I'm going to give this a try. Probably really, really soon. A lot of people really like it. So I'm hoping that it is as good as everyone says it is. Let me talk about this one first. I love this. Like, I love this. This is the Jerlic Rose Water Balancing Mist. I love this. I like, even though I have oily combination skin, I like using things usually that are gentle for my skin. I like a gentle cleanser. I like a gentle toner. Although those glycolic toners, obviously, they're not gentle. But when I go in with, like, a hardcore mask or I'm having a really bad breakouts and I'm going to go in with maybe, like, um, sulfur all over or salicylic acid or something to really combat the breakouts that I'm having I like to use something like this because I feel like it soothes my skin it calms it down um, you know when I have breakouts that's not the point I want to go in with all these acids and all these really harsh chemicals I feel like I need to sort of tone it down a little bit and I don't know how much I'm gonna like this over the summer but in the winter I've been loving it it smells so good too I love rose water like it's such a beautiful scent it's so relaxing and invigorating at the same time I love it um it's really soothing for my skin so I really like it for that I hope it works for me in the summer because I feel like I would really like misting this on myself and anytime I see something that says balancing I tend to want to try it because because I'm oily combination you know I have areas that are really oily and I have areas that are a little bit drier so I'm, I'm always trying to find something to sort of balance things out a little bit make my drier areas not so dry and my oily areas not so oily I like this. I feel like I will probably need to use this continuously over a period of time to see if it does anything as far as balancing is concerned. But I think from when I use a mask, like a charcoal mask or um, 
sulfur on my face or anything like that like going in with a product like this is really good for my skin so I enjoy going in with a really um, sort of light and refreshing toner as well as my glycolic toner so I really like this definitely recommend it it smells amazing I picked this up at the drugstore I haven't used it yet neither one of these I've used yet um, this is the boots number no. seven beautiful skin hot cloth cleanser and I bought this because it says for all skin types it reveals soft hydrated radiantly clean skin so this is a cleanser so this is the cleanser I don't remember how much I paid for it but this is such a huge size for a cleanser like I love this it is 6.7 US fluid ounces and then it comes with this muslin cloth I haven't opened it because it's sealed in this packaging I don't want to open and get bacteria and germs in it until I'm ready to use it but it's a nice muslin cloth and I love muslin cloths for your face they're really good to cleanse with they're soothing um, they're really gentle but they get all the dirt off so I'm excited to give this a try I just have a few cleansers so I haven't been able to like try things like I don't like opening everything all up at once because if something's working for me I want to know what it is that's working for me and if something's not working for me then I want to know what that is so if I'm using everything all at once I can't really tell what's working for me and what's not so but I'm really excited to give this a try if you try this before let me know down below kind of how it worked out for you or what you thought about it because I feel like I've never heard anyone mention this and I feel like why not but I feel like I've never even heard anyone talk about it in the hall and it's totally something that I feel like I would have been drawn to day one. This I purchased at, I think, Ulta. But I think you get this as support too. It's from Dr. Brandt. It is their oil-free, pores no more, anti-aging, mattifying lotion. And I purchased it because it's a mattifying lotion. Um, I'm oily and this is what I need to be using. I haven't used it yet though. It's completely full, straight out of the box. I haven't used it yet only because we're in the middle of winter. And I'm not that oily. Um, although in my T-zone I am. So I, I think I'm going to start using this sort of just in my T-zone and see kind of what it does. But I'm excited to see what this would really do for me in the spring, in the summer when my skin is way more oily to the point where like makeup doesn't last from the minute I, you know, the, by the time I get to work my makeup's already breaking apart in my T-zone. So I'm hoping that this works for me. I'm going to give it a try and let you guys know what I think. I have a couple of nail products, so let's talk about those real quick. I purchased these at Ulta um, the last time I was there because they were on sale. I love when Ulta puts um, the little like clearance sections out, and I always go through that and I look for usually hair products because sometimes they have like the more higher end products, hair products there on sale. Um, and if it's something that I've been wanting to try, I will give it a try if it's in the clearance section. And their nail polishes. I love, you know, my Zoyas and OPIs and things like that. And, I think, and if I can get it on clearance, even better. So I saw these two little sets from OPI. This is the Reds Have It and Black and White and Glitter All Over. I haven't used these and I love these little mini nail polishes. The fact of the matter is I've never completed a full bottle of nail polish. Um, it's kind of impossible, I feel like. But these little bottles, I feel like I can use them and almost use it up completely before it like hardens on me or like the consistency changes on me. So I love that I get three little bottles pretty much for less than the price of one bottle of OPI nail polish. Like these normally go for $9.95, which is about how much OPI is. I think OPI is $9. And you get three. And this one has a white one, a black one, and like a silver glittery one. And this one has different shades of red. This one has a bright, like, blue base red, a darker shade of red, and I think this one is like a, has like a shimmery red up on top. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to try these out. I love the OPI nail polishes. And then I bought these from Sephora. This one, I think these were on sale, maybe. I don't remember. Um, these are both from Formula X, and this is the look, and it has a dark burgundy shade, and then it has a gold coppery gold glittery nail polish that you can use in combination you can use the just the burgundy one the burgundy one looks beautiful so I can't wait to use this I just haven't had a chance I just haven't gone for it yet I wanted to like save it for a special occasion because of that glitter one I'm definitely gonna use it soon and then this little kit is their brightening prescription kit. It has a brightening treatment, a color corrector, a sheer strength formula, and a color plus, which is like a color protecting top coat. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I really wanted to try this. I know that Zoya has like their 
oh, I don't know what it's called, but they have a set of nail polishes, I think kind of similar to this, where they have like a brightening, a color enhancing nail polishes, and like a base coat and a top coat. Um, so I wanted to try this one out because I really like the Formula X nail polishes. I do love the Zoyo ones, but the Zoyo ones only come in like normal size. Yeah, they're like regular size nail polishes, so they're like 25 bucks or so. I don't remember how much I paid for this, but it wasn't as much. And I know that I love the formula, so I was like, let me give this one a try. Maybe later on down the line, I'll try the Zoyo one. But I feel like, um, I think the reason I didn't want to buy the Zoyo one was because I didn't like the combinations of the nail polishes that they had. So I have to see if they sell just those nail polishes on their own and kind of create my own little sets. I feel like the combinations that they had, they can get together as a set. I wasn't fond. Like, I wanted one from one and one from another. None of them, the two didn't come in the set that you could buy already. So I think that's why I didn't go for those. But I'm really curious to try this one out and see how it works for me. I think the rest is makeup. Well, this is makeup-ish. I bought this at um, Ulta. It is the Duo Lash Adhesive. But this one, I think this is just the white one. I think I also bought, I think I also bought the black one. Or maybe I, I was going to get it and I put it back. I don't remember. Um, but I can't find it, so maybe I didn't buy it. But this comes kind of like that Revlon glue that it comes with, like, it comes with a tip so you're not squeezing it out of the bottle you use the tip to apply it on the lash band and I love that I've been using the Revlon one and I really like that um, aspect of it but I love my dual glue I think it works really really well so I decided to pick this one up I think this one dries clear yeah it's the white one that dries clear it better dry clear if not I'm going back for the black one this is my preferred way I'm not using any glue that comes out of the tube anymore because I feel like it's just a pain so that's that. This is from um, Sephora and is their Sephora brand of um, blush cleanser. This is their mini citrus brush cleanser. And I purchased this because in little writing over here it says Sephora by Parian Spirit. And I've heard amazing things about the Parian Spirit brush cleanser. So I wanted to give this one a try. Although a couple of months ago I purchased the... Shit, what's the name of that one? Although a couple of months ago, I purchased this one, the Cinema Secrets one, which doesn't even look used because you really don't need a lot. Um, I like it, but I was curious to try this one, and I love the scent of this one because it's like a citrusy scent. This one also has a really good scent, but I, what was this one? You know, this one has a citrusy scent, which I really liked. Um, and this one smells good too, but I feel like this one smells more like... Um, like alcohol, sanitized, hospital kind of a thing, which I don't mind because I feel like it smells really, really clean and I'm attracted to that. Um, but this one just, you know, it's citrusy, it's different, so I like it. Um, I like the scent of it. I haven't tried it on my brushes yet. I literally just purchased this. And this one I know that I like, but I'm going to give this one a try because it's from Perry and Spirit and a lot of people said it's a really great brand. But, you know, I bought this because people said this was a great brand, so I'm probably going to like both of them. I think now we are on to makeup for sure. So, primer-ish. Well, this was a primer. This was one of the samples that I got through Nordstrom when I made a purchase online. And this is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base. I've never tried the MAC Prep and Prime. And everybody talks about it, but I've never tried it. So I wanted to give it a try. Again, a really good sample to get from Nordstrom. And this I've been using in my T-zone right now because it's supposed to help mattify. And I really do like it. This is the, poor, um, this is the Benefit, the Poor Professional Matte Rescue. I think this is really really good again I use a very small amount this thing is huge like I thought it was gonna be the size of like a regular primer but this is like two ounces I think no one and a half ounces it's pretty big um, so I use a very light layer it's a gel consistency I put it right in my t-zone I kind of spread it out into where my bigger pores are I put it on my lip middle of my chin middle of my forehead and then I, I let it sink in for about a minute or so um, and then I put on my regular primer which recently has been this because I wanted to use this up the hourglass serum primer um, that's not a new purchase but I wanted to mention that because that's the kind of primer I really can't use but that came in a little set and I wanted to try the hourglass primers and that one I never got to use I'm actually using it up now because of this product because a serum primer a serum anything really it's gonna make me really really oily um, it's just the nature of the product, you know, it's the nature of a serum. It's going to make me feel a little bit more oily. And it doesn't do that with this. Like, it does eventually, but usually by lunchtime, I am a grease ball. Like, I don't notice how greasy I'm getting until, like, I take a minute, I go to the bathroom, I look at myself, I'm like, whoa, really? But with this, I have a little bit of shine, but it's not anywhere near what it normally is. By the end of the day, I am greasy. 
it is what it is. But I could totally go in with blotting sheets and then I'm good until the end of the day. Like I really like this product. It's definitely a be this is definitely going to be a staple in my collection forever. These are the Kate, the Rimmel Kate Clear, they're lip balms is what they are. And I was really intrigued by these because they come in a little lipstick tube. I love lip balms that come in like cute packaging or like lipstick tubes because they just look like normal, normal lipstick packaging. Um, like right now I'm currently using my um, Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. I love that. I love the formula of it. It works really, really well on my lips, especially in the winter. It's just super hydrating. But I don't love the packaging. And it comes in a little tube and I have to put it on my finger and then put it on my lips. I don't like it. Although I have purchased a form, the form that comes in the lipstick tube. So now I got that too, but I'm going to give this a try. I don't know why I do this to myself. I buy so many like similar products and I don't use any of them. But I'm going to give these a try because these were a couple of bucks, less than five bucks I think. Um... They seem to be pretty moisturizing, but I only used it once to kind of try it out. So I have to use it consistently to really know if they're really moisturizing or not. I got two of the... Right, they're both the same one. Yes, I got two of the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black Mascaras. These are little samples. One from MAC and one from Nordstrom. Wow. I totally blacked out for a second there. Um, I got these through my online orders. I was really excited because I love getting mascara samples. So I'm going to give those a try. A lot of people said that they like those. So I hope that I like it as well. So what I ordered online through MAC um, when I got that sample was the MAC Woodwinked Eyeshadow. I love it. It's such a pretty color. Like for me, for every day, it's going to be perfect. And I could totally dress it up for like evening or something like I don't even know if the camera's going to pick that up. I can't really tell. I guess a little bit, huh? Um, it just looks really beautiful in the eyes. Gorgeous. And the other thing that I had ordered from them was this pump. I have that Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, but I really wanted to get a pump for it. And I heard that the MAC one works, and it works perfectly well. You should totally get it. It seems to be a little long, and if it gives me any trouble as I'm using it, I might cut the bottom of it. But it's been fine so far, so I don't think I'll need to. Uh, and I'm so happy, because now I can just pump out exactly what I need and not take out a bunch of foundation and when I spill out too much I don't tend to scoop it back up because I'm like well it's already exposed to air and the bacteria that was on my hands so I'm just gonna use it and dump what I'm not using and that's such a waste of money and it's such a great foundation so I'm super happy to have the pump for this now and then the other thing that I ordered online at Nordstrom where I got those other samples from was the pump for the NARS sheer glow foundation I guess any of their the other one too the mattifying foundation I love the sheer glow foundation um, I purchased it before I realized that maybe I wouldn't like the sheer glow foundation because I'm oily but I use a, a light layer of it it covers and it doesn't make me extra greasy I really like this formula um, it, it just works sometimes things work and you don't expect them to work and this is the kind of thing that works so I'm really excited to have a pump for this as well because again it was the kind of thing that was pouring out and if I poured out too much I wasn't going to pour it back into the container like it was just done and I could pump out exactly how much I need so I love that I also bought some shadows from Coastal Scents. I'm not going to swatch them right now, but uh, all of these bottom ones are from Coastal Scents. And these three are from Coastal Scents. I really like them. They do have a lot of fallouts. Um, like on the brush, I tap off the excess so I don't have a bunch of fallout on my face. But I do notice when I, do notice when I put my brush into the product that it does get pretty powdery. The next thing I purchased, this is from Sephora. I meant to mentioned this earlier with my skincare stuff but this is their touch up razor like little kits um there are two of these like facial razors that i like to use for my eyebrows and then one of them comes with like a little brush at the other end if you want to brush your eyebrows and kind of shape them and see where you need to sort of go through oh and it also has a comb on the top of the other one um i haven't tried these out yet <sighs> They're a little bit more pricey than what I like to spend for products like that because I feel like those are so disposable. But I'm hoping that those are really, really good because I've purchased a couple from the drugstore that I just haven't really liked. I also purchased ones from Tweezerman, which is like a single one, which was really expensive as well for just one. But I'm hoping that it's a really good quality one and I won't have to replace as often as I do the other ones. I'm definitely not going to keep these in the bathroom. I do usually have some in the bathroom and then some here in my makeup area i'm just gonna keep it here in my makeup area because i don't want the water to sort of mess it up and you know rust it out um but i'm hoping that they'll last me longer than like the regular drugstore ones that i get like you get five like i don't know five bucks ten bucks whatever it is i'm hoping that these are a, a much better quality 
and I'm willing to spend a little bit more money for a better quality product if it's going to last me longer and just be easier to use. I don't really nick myself with the other ones. Every so often I do. It's the magic of percentages. Eventually you're probably going to nick yourself. Um, so I'm hoping these are really, really good. We'll see. And wow. Finally, we are almost done, guys. The last things I'm going to share with you are eyeshadows. And I love eyeshadows. I love playing up the eyes and I love playing up the lips. Those are like my two favorite areas. Obviously, not at the same time. I usually pick one or the other. Um, but one palette that I love, and I've only used it a couple of times. I need to use it way more, like on a daily basis almost, is the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay Eyeshadow Palette. I really like this. Like, it's just... It is so pretty. I love the packaging, obviously. I love Gwen. She's amazing. I've loved her since I was a teenager. Um, but this palette is so good. I love the shadows. And at first, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it. Because obviously, if you ignore the bottom row, or in this case, the top row, it's a very neutral looking palette. And a lot of times, although neutrals are my things, I have to be careful with the kind of neutral palette that I get. Because I am, you know, a woman of color. I'm sometimes you see a neutral palette and you see girls rave about them but they tend to be very fair skin girls where anything shows up on their skin but on me certain types of neutrals and light sort of colors just don't show up on me and they all just kind of look the same so I was afraid that this was what I was gonna get when I purchased this but no the colors look amazing on my skin tone I really like them I definitely recommend it a splurge item you know it's just it's a really great palette so if you have been thinking about it I definitely say go for it Another palette I purchased in the last couple of months is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I love this. It's so good. I love the chocolate line, I guess, from Too Faced. It smells so good. And it's a beautiful palette. I've only used it once. I know. It's a shame. Um, I tend to be really protective of the things when I first get them. Like, I don't want to use them too much. Eventually, I kind of get over it and I'm like, I go ham at it. These are really, really good. Again, I knew that you know, this is a, you know, it's a neutrals palette. It has a couple of little pops of color there, but it is a neutrals palette. But I knew right away it was going to be the kind of palette that when I used it, the colors weren't just going to sort of blend into my skin tone or blend into each other and look the same on my eyelids. A really great palette. Definitely worth it. I would definitely recommend it. And the last item I purchased, I haven't even used this yet. It's brand new. I still have the box and everything. It's the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. When I first heard about this palette, I knew that when it came out, I was going to get it. I knew I was going to get the Bonbons palette as soon as I heard about it. I knew I was going to get the Peanut Butter and Jelly palette. And I know they're coming out with the Peach palette. And I know I want to get that one as well. Um, I think that one comes out next month. So I'm really excited for that. Um, but I haven't tried these out just yet on my eyelids. I swatched them and sort of like messed around with them. And I love them. <laughs> and I love Too Faced shadows. Like, I have a bunch of these. of uh, The little palettes that come like this. I love their shadows. They're just really great qualities. And these colors are so good. Like, they're really good now for this time of year. Really great for the summer. Really great for the spring. All year round. They're nice, beautiful neutrals. And this lighter purple. Like, I thought, oh, it's going to be too light for me. No, it's beautiful. I love it. This one over here. This deeper kind of purple color is... Oh, the jammin color is... They're just... Really beautiful colors, and even on my skin tone, I, I can totally wear this and create an everyday look and create a nice um, evening look and a nice pop of color kind of a look. I really like this. It's really versatile. I love it, and it smells really good, too. At first, I was like, it doesn't really smell like peanut butter and jelly, but I feel like almost kind of like an aftertaste or like an after smell. Like, not initially when I smell it, but afterwards when I kind of breathe it out a little bit, I smell the peanut butterness. But it's also very, um, it almost smells like toasted, I guess like toasted peanut maybe. Like toasted nuts, toasted like almonds or something. Like, yeah, it just smells really sugary. So I like it. I definitely don't mind it. And it reminds me of, of something else. Like, I don't know if it's a fruit or, or something sweet. But I can't quite put my finger on it. But um, I love this palette. Too Faced is amazing. Out of the park every single time. So guys, thank you so much for sticking around. I know that was a really, really, really long video. 
Um, I'm going to try to shorten it as much as I possibly can. But those are all the items that I've, well, those are most of the items that I purchased in the last couple of months. I know already off the top of my head there are a couple of things that I've missed. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to include them now just to include them. Um, it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or opinions on the items that I showed you today, please put those down below. I'd love to hear from you all. Thank you again for watching. I truly do appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.